Good morning all. Today I want to look at the contents of this package which has been very kindly sent to me by icstation.com. So let's cut into it and see what we've got. And we've got this. It's a little module with wires attached. Uh, we've got in, plus and minus, out, plus and minus here. There's an LM2596, which is a switch mode regulator, little inductor sitting next to it. Uh, adjustment potentiometer. And then we've got a little daughter board with a squiggly line in, on it. And uh, I think we can recognize this as a microwave Doppler module. So it's a proximity sensor, a couple of adjustment pots there to adjust presumably sensitivity and oh something else so what is this thing exactly well it's a dc 36 volt to 12 volt microwave radar sensor module human body induction switch delay time ah, of course that's what the other pods for isn't it delay time uh, sensing distance voltage adjustable switch controller now what i reckon that this is doing because it's got that lm2596 which i believe has an enable input i think that this little module switches on and enables that voltage regulator which means that the output is always going to be a bit less than the input which is slightly odd but it could be quite handy um, it says down here we've got an input voltage uh, 12 volts up to 36 volts output voltage of 1.5 to 35 volts so does this thing have a drop out of just one volt in which case i can put my 13.4 volts at the moment today into this and i could get 12 volts out so we'll give that a try um output voltage 5 to 35 volts default is 12. oh that says output voltage of 5 to 35 fair enough maximum load current 3 amps 30 watts sensing distance is 0.5 to 7 meters well it really can't sense anything closer than half a meter i find that rather hard to believe uh delay time 1 to 120 seconds well let's power it up and give it a try so i have some bits and pieces here um this 2.1 can go on the input connectors and i can put my 13.4 volts straight into there i'll put that on the output and see if i can find a load actually a small bulb might do it i'll use this um slot machine bulb i took these out of a slot machine fruit machine years ago i must get another fruit machine i do love those things and these um wires i don't know what they are but they're almost impossible to solder to well i won't bother this time i'll just shove it in one of these connectors so i'll put the output connections onto this bulb uh, this bulb should tolerate anything between what i've got coming in 13.4 and low voltages so it's kind of ideal as a a little output indicator i should tin those ready to hold them together but we'll stick that in there uh, the input can go in via this. I'm just struggling to get these wires into here because these have got these little, um, it's a, a bolt sitting on top of a little tongue and I just can't get them in without them fraying and some of the connections going back. So I think I'll just get my soldering iron and just tin these up only a tiny bit so that they're just uh, effectively one strand. So just the teeniest, tiniest bit of solder on these just to hold them together that'll be enough just so I can get them into that connector that's fine right ready to plug it in so let's get my 13.4 volts which is on this connector that comes from my outside batteries ah okay and the light came on briefly so this must be, I think it said, didn't it, that it was preset to 12 volts. Um, so yeah, when this chip is enabled, then it regulates, oh, it's detecting, oh, it's detecting movement. Oh, then time must be set to the shortest, one second. Yeah, that's working well. Um, yeah, this is set to 12 volts, I think. So when this um, microwave unit enables the uh, regulator, then it regulates this voltage down to this voltage which is 13 and a bit down to presumably 12 and the light comes on but that works rather well doesn't it and I don't know why it said um, the distance sensing is 0.5 meters up to some larger number because it obviously detects 
movement at less than 0.5 meters. I can't see how it wouldn't do that. Right, let's twiddle some pots. So let's twiddle uh, RT2, or is it R12? RT1. Oh, RT1, okay. R12 is the little surface mount resistor up there. And what's that done? Oh, that does appear to have reduced the sensitivity, possibly. Doesn't seem to have affected the time. So let's go back up to maximum sensitivity. Let's change the time pot. Oh yeah, now that said it went up to, oh, was it 200 seconds? So I do want to leave that, I think, on the minimum time. So these pots come preset to something where you can interact and see it working. Oh, that's rather good, isn't it? So if I get up and walk to the other side of the room, is it going to detect me? Moving my arms around, probably about one and a half meters away. Yeah, it does detect me. That's quite good. I like that. And then the, actually I might as well use the trim pot, which I got out. Um, the voltage control pot, which is the uh, voltage adjust on the LM2596. I think we can assume that the bulb will just get dimmer as I turn this down. Oh yeah, there we go. Movement, yeah, you can still just about see the filament glowing there. And as I turn it up, we get that to maximum brightness. And that's the maximum. Um, I presume that's not at the end stop because this thing can go up to an output of 35 volts given a 36 volt in. Yeah, that's got a little ticking end stop. But of course that can't go up above the uh, input voltage minus the dropout voltage. So I need to wind that all the way back until we see some movement on that lamp brightness. And then we know that the pot is set to uh, a 12 volt approximate output. So we'll just set that to maximum brightness. And that detects me. So I've never played with a, one of these microwave detectors before. I bought one recently and I, I haven't actually unboxed it yet. It's, it's one that's in a big housing. But um, what we have here is a sort of um, antenna, which I presume is also an inductor because of the turns in it. There's a little transistor here directly connected to that, which as far as I understand it is oscillating at an extraordinarily high frequency, gigahertz possibly. And then there must be some sort of uh, frequency to voltage converter so that as I move around and that frequency changes, the detector detects that change a bit like uh, the way the PIR works. And then under here, there's a chip which um, I illuminated and I can just make out on the top of that chip that it's a BIS treble zero one, which is the chip that you normally get in those passive infrared uh, detectors. But this works in a different way. Doppler shift on a very high frequency oscillation and uh, yeah I can see from the LM2596 data sheet that it does indeed have an on off control and that's on pin 5 which I can see runs down to a little via there and that runs along this track here down to there and yeah that's in the proximity of the BIS0001 and possibly that little transistor there so certainly what it seems like this is doing is it's using the output from the uh, BIS treble zero one, its input being this microwave Doppler unit, um, to enable or disable or switch on and or off this regulator. So it's an odd way to do it, but in some ways it's quite nice because um, you, if you have uh, a voltage coming in, yes, you'll have slightly less going out, but if you've got enough overhead between the voltage coming in and what you're driving, I mean, say you wanted uh, a five volt LED strip and you had 12 volts in, then this could be quite handy because this does that regulating down for you. You don't have to have a separate regulator after some sort of switched microwave unit. This kind of does both. On the other hand, it could sometimes be an inconvenience, but depends on your situation, I guess. I suppose a way to interpret this 0.5 to 7 meters adjustable is that if you desensitize the unit, it will work between zero and about half a meter. If you go to maximum sensitivity, it will work between zero and possibly as much as seven meters. So uh, yes, I think that's it, it doesn't stop working at below half a meter. That's just the maximum distance that it will be sensitive to. 
depending on that control. But that does seem like quite a useful adjustment range. Now, one thing it doesn't say on the data sheet is what the quiescent current is. So I've put my meter in line with the unit and it says um, 33 or 34 milliamps, but it's not actually working with my meter in line with it. So probably what I'm gonna to have to do is put it on the uh, 10 amp setting. Yes, that should be fine. 10 amp and common. So that's working, but now it's saying that it's um, 14 milliamps. So I'm not quite sure which one to believe. 13, 14 milliamps, which is quite a lot really, isn't it? Of course, if the lamp turns on, it's 140 milliamps. But in quiescent, yeah, 13 milliamps. That's what it says. So that's it really, uh, a little microwave detector sensor module with variable sensitivity and time controls, but also using as its main switch, rather than a MOSFET or a relay, it uses um, a voltage regulator that has an enable pin so that it gives you the switching function and also a regulation function for your output device if you can tolerate the drop between the input voltage and the output voltage. It's rather neat, I think. Cheerio.